Buenos dias, muchachos y muchachas. And welcome back to La Paz. This city is absolutely beautiful and absolutely crazy at the same time. I have been sick with altitude sickness for the first week, but today we're gonna go look for the cure. We're gonna go look for the best cure according to all the Pasenios, which is caldo de cardan. It is a soup with the bull penis, the whole bull penis, which is said to give you power to conquer the altitudes, conquer the thin air, and soldier on. So I need some of that, so I'm gonna go and look for Caldo de Cardan. Join me on the journey. All right, we are in the area where I've been told that the hunt can go for Caldo de Cardan. It is busy here. There's a lot of shops over there on the other side, on this side. Everybody's out selling something. But the question is, who is selling Caldo de Cardan? I see fricassé, cerdo, chicharrón. Not what I'm looking for. But yeah, it's busy here this morning. It is Sunday morning. I'm aware that I've been told that the Bolivian Clásico is going to be played today as well between the strongest and Bolivar. So go Bolivar. Okay. So we're in here. It's a bit of a market going on this morning. Let's try and ask. Buenas, una consulta. ¿Dónde encuentro caldo de cardán? Me han dicho aquí por esta zona. No, no, en la 15 de abril. En la 15 de abril, que es así, ¿no? Más arriba. Directo por aquí andas. Por la avenida. ¿Aquí? Sí. Ah, ok. Vamos a terminar desde los carritos. ¿Dónde? Los carritos directo, vas a ver dónde. Vas a ver dónde. Ya es esquina. ¿Aquí? Te vas a salir a este lado. Hacia el por la derecha. Ah, y luego vas a bajar a la avenida. Derecha y bajar. Sí. La avenida aquí. Sí, aquí también hay otra. Derecha y directo. Sí. Derecha y. Directo. Y directo. Sí. Gracias. Gracias, señora. All right. We're on the hunt. Take a right down here and then go straight. Let's see if I find my luck. We're back into the market here. Turn to right. Perdón, busco caldo de cardán. Más, más allá me han dicho, por aquí. Adelante, en la avenida. Adelante. Sí, tiene salida. Gracias. Okay, we keep going. This market is full of literally everything: kitchen stuff, toilet paper, fruit and veg, electronics. Uh, lamps, music, videos, all sorts of stuff. Street dock as well. Always a street dock. Okay, here's a lady selling fresh meat. There's literally everything. These markets here. 25 Bolivia, 25 oranges for 10 Bolivianos. That's like slightly more than a dollar. You could definitely get a feast here. That is for sure. Okay, so I've taken the trip to the Avenida here. Boss, I am a bit lost. Perdón, Caldo de Cardán, ¿dónde encuentro? Más abajo de esta calle. Gracias. Guantes para lavar ropa, 8, 2, 15. Guantes. Okay, they keep saying, go down, go down. Let's see. Here is someone selling something with food. Let's see. Caldo de cardán tiene? Más arriba. Más arriba, los otros necesitan más abajo. No, llega a la plaza del maestro. Ajá. Ahí va a encontrar una fila de puro cardán. Es más arriba. La plaza, la rotonda. Ajá. ¿Cuánto más arriba? ¿Dos cuadras? 
cuatro. Oh, ok, gracias. We go back up. <laughs> This is turning out to be a harder hunt than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I see a sign saying Caldo de Cardan. I think we have hit jackpot here. It looks very popular. All right. Let's see. Aquí vende Caldo de Cardan. Vende Caldo de Cardan aquí? ¿A cuánto está? 25. Okay. ¿Se puede tener uno? ¿Uno? ¿Cómo funciona? ¿Cómo funciona? Eh, compra la fichita de mi hijo boliviano. Ajá. Y toma asiento y es para acá. Sí, aquí. Para acá. Entonces, a ver, 20, aquí pago. Vale. All right. So I have found a place where they serve the caldo de cardán. This place here. They have caldo de cardán, falso conejo, lengua, costilla, timpo, sarta. I don't know what all of it is, but as you can see, there are a lot of people here. It looks very popular. Buenos días. So, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be good. Not the most talkative people, but we'll make the best of it. Anyways, I don't think, I don't think they see a white guy eating this much, this stuff so much. But we'll see, we'll see what it's like. I'll let you know once the food comes. Okay. ¿Y dónde es el tor? Ahí adentro. Ahí ¿Cuál? Este. 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 No, este. Este. Este es del, eh, del Thor. Y me han dicho que es como la leyenda es que es para energía este, este plato. De ¿no? por sí la sopita. Te da... Porque hierve. Ajá. Y todo está concentrado en la sopita, entonces Ajá. por eso más que el poder del, del pene, del pol, del tor. Porque como está cociendo también las carnes, todo, entonces es pues, un energizante natural. Este sí. es, Exacto. este blanco. Exacto. Uh. Entonces, y sirve bien para las alturas y uh, el poder para el día, ¿no? Claro, sí. esto ahorita va, se va a servir Ajá. y eso le va, va a ver que le va a llenar hasta la carne. Perfecto. Gracias. Perfecto, All right. So, as you here. The lady is saying, spilled a little bit there. The lady was saying, this white thing here is from the, the uh, cock of the cow. Basically this, it just looks like fat. And then we have an egg. We have another piece of, I think, chicken here. We have the, the black potato. I think this is the one they call Junior. Look at that one. Completely black, steaming hot. Then we have some white thingy that I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's more of the cock, I think. All right. As you're saying, everything is cooked together and it's supposed to give power to the mayor, to the people here fighting the altitude and it's going to keep you full up until the uh, up until the afternoon that you're going to be powering on for the rest of the day. So I, let's get some of the the spicy the yahua in here as well. Mix that up. And we've got some green onions here as well and yeah the the legend is that people come here to uh, uh, this road goes out into the Amazon jungle over the mountains and apparently the truck drivers will come here early in the morning get themselves a caldo de cadan this soup here and they will be ready to drive for the rest of the day 
All right, I think that's enough chatter. Let's just give it a taste. All right, the soup itself just tastes like a clear vegetable soup and then with a bit of spicy from that yahua that I put in there. Let's try this. I don't know if you're supposed to eat this. Oh no. No. That is just fat. Ew. Not good. Next piece of meat. So I think the bull cock is supposed to just be for the power, not to be eaten. But this piece of meat, the chicharron, phenomenal. Very, very good. Tender, just rips apart. Look at it. Just fold apart there, piece by piece. That's very good. All right. I will finish this this meal and we'll pick the video up afterwards and I'll give you a final score of, the, of this dish once I'm done with it. So here is some more of the cow. I suppose this is some cot quite close to the to the cock as well because I was just having a little nibble before and I tell you what this is some weird taste <laughs> to put it nicely <laughs> I will eat it though because I need that power but this this cut of the cow yeah I'm not sure not sure about that but I'll have a go They won't be able to say that I didn't give it a go. <laughs> it is a weird taste, I tell you what. It's quite chewy, quite. Yeah. I'm not sure that really works, to be honest. <laughs> Very chewy, not the most tasty. I think I'm tapping out here. I gave it a good go. I mean, half of the, more than half of the soup. I've had this little man help me over here with some of the meat. I tell you what, A plus for the story, for the idea behind the, uh, behind, behind this dish, behind this soup, but it, isn't sitting very well with me. I am kind of fighting <laughs> to get it down. To be honest. So yeah, that's the same, I think. I'm tapping out here. I'll give it another couple of goes. And then I think that's it for me. For this caldo de cardan. What's the overall? I think a lot of the meat is very chewy. But the soup itself is actually pretty good. The soup itself is actually decent. But the meat is very chewy. I gotta say. Um, so yeah. What can I give it? Let's give it a 5 out of 10. Right in the middle. Let's raise it to a six for the story. 
six for the story, the dish itself, a five out of ten. That's Caldo de Cardan. Now, I think I'm gonna go back to that market, biddle down the road, see if I can find myself a juice of some sort. They have all these lovely fresh juices here. So I think that's what my stomach needs now. All right. Found myself a... When they are moco chinchi, like a <clears throat> basically like a peach uh, juice, super tasty. That goes well after that soup. <laughs> I tell you what, that soup is still giving me, I don't know, interesting thoughts. <laughs> that was an interesting experience, but yeah. Here's a lot more food as well in all these stands here. Wendy <laughs> Am. With this mocachinchi juice, I think I think I will uh, end the video. This is this one here. This is mocachinchi, este es moco chinchi, ¿no? Lo que hay en este jugo. Que es, es como casi turrasno, más o menos el sabor, ¿no? Pero no es, es turrasno. Ah, ok, es como turrasno seco. Ah, vale. Gracias. All right, so it is actually peach. It's a dried peach. All right. And with that said, I think I will end this video here. Try and find my way back try and find my way back downtown um, and yeah with that said thanks for watching hit the like button click subscribe and I'll see you when I see you